In today's demo, we're going to take a look at how easy it is to take a pure Maven project, import it into my Eclipse, and deploy it. So let's get started. Now, what we have here is a standard Maven-based enterprise application. So if we drill down into the web project, you can see that it's just got a POM file for configuration. There is no uh, my Eclipse or Eclipse metadata, and it's just additionally got a source folder which only contains source code. If we go into the web app folder, you will see that uh, in the web clip folder, there aren't any jar files either. So it's just source code and a configuration file with no metadata whatsoever. Now let's get back into my Eclipse and try to import this project. So I can use file, import, and I'll choose the existing Maven projects uh, import option. Click next and uh, select the location where I have my project stored. And you can see that my Eclipse has scanned the location and we've detected multiple Maven projects in that location. So I'm going to go ahead and import a subset of these. Click Finish. And uh, you can see my Eclipse has imported the projects into the workspace and has configured them for your use. Now to save time, I'm going to go ahead and deploy the ear to WebSphere. Notice that I already have WebSphere 7 configured and running right now. So just going to uh, add the deployment, choosing the Hello World Air project, and click Finish. Now I'm going to send the deployment to the background so we can uh, closely examine uh, the application we just imported. So the Air, if I go to uh, Add and Remove Project Modules, we can see that MyEclipse has detected that the two other Maven projects imported, the EJB and the Web, projects are actually modules um, in the air and it's already configured them correctly. Uh, we'll move on to the EJB and um, just have a look at the at the pom.xml file and um, if you look at the dependencies tab you can see a few dependencies on the EJB API and uh, a framework called Yoda time which we will be using in this application. So if we come back to the package explorer view you see that there's a maven dependencies container and uh, that contains a number of libraries, um, not only these dependencies, but the dependencies that these dependencies in turn have. So uh, uh, these libraries are actually detected by MyEclipse and imported into your local Maven repository and then made available to your project uh, through the Maven dependencies container. So you can actually have a quick look at the implementation, the bean that we'll be using. So. It's rather simple. It just uh, uses the Yoda time library to give you the current time. Uh, let's move on to the web application. And um, you can see here, uh, the web application too has a similar Maven dependencies container with its own set of dependencies defined by its pom.xml. I'll show you a little additional piece of our pom.xml editor. You can, you can have a look at the dependency graph which is um, a graphical view of uh, the dependencies that this project has. And, you know, indirect dependencies are shown um, as well. So let's go back to the web project. I'm going to look at the project properties. And um, this, this is one of the interesting pages. This is uh, the deployment assembly support. So this shows you how your, uh, how your Maven application is mapped to you know uh, the deployed location so you can see that the class files in the source main java and the source main resources folder are set, sent out to the web in classes folder um, in in the deployed location while the web app folder is actually map, mapped to the to the deployed route um, of course all the libraries in the maven dependencies container are sent to web in flip so you noticed earlier on i said there were no libraries um, in the lib folder but those are uh, when you import the Maven project into my Eclipse, downloaded and then deployed uh, with your application. So we can actually go ahead uh, and have a look at our application. It seems to be, uh, deployment seems to be complete. So here's WebClear 7, here's our ear. Let's just expand it a bit and uh, right click, choose open in browser. And uh, so this is the index page, click time, and it says, hello world, the time is two past 12. So that, that's it. That's how easy it is to work with uh, Maven in my clips.